What do you think the Niners' uh, biggest concern is heading into the Packers game? <laughs> uh, turnovers. Mm. Has to be turnovers. And, and not just turnovers from the 49ers. Okay, so we talked about it last week. We said that Jimmy G is going to give the ball away at least one time. But on the flip side, we also expected Dallas to give the ball right back. And so if the turnover battle could stay even, the 49ers would be fine. That's exactly what happened. The problem is this week, you're going against Aaron Rodgers. Just so you know, the Packers have nine games this year where they did not turn the ball over at all, which means more often than not, they are not going to turn the ball over. They had a, a stretch at the end of the season where they went four straight weeks. The Lions game was a different deal. They they didn't care about that game outside the Lions game four straight weeks before that where they did not turn the ball over. So if Jimmy G is going to throw the ball to the Packers, I think they can get away with it once because this team is so good. But if they turn it over more than once, do not expect the Packers to give it away. And giving the ball to Aaron Rodgers that many times is going to be too much to overcome. So for me, that is the biggest concern that I have going into this game. My biggest concern is Kyle Shanahan. I mean, Jimmy doesn't concern me because I know Jimmy. I know exactly what Jimmy's going to do. You can count on Jimmy to be Jimmy. Kyle is different. Kyle sometimes is perfect in his use of or non-use of Jimmy Garoppolo. Look at the 2019 NFC Championship game. Legendary. A legendary freaking game. But then there's other times when Kyle, like the, the, the Super Bowl, where all of a sudden you – put the game in Jimmy's hands and there's no good reason for it. Your running game is working. You know, you don't trust Jimmy Garoppolo, but you just do it. And that's my thing with Kyle. Like I don't trust Jimmy under pressure in big moments. I don't trust Kyle under pressure in big moments. I don't trust his decision-making. And if he can, if he puts this game in Jimmy Garoppolo's hands for whatever reason, that's how the Niners are going to lose. And I think it's just totally up to him. If you feature the run game, like you freaking should, you're going to win. But I don't know with Kyle sometimes. He's just a little harder to predict. Oh, you think I'm going to do this? The whole world thinks I'm going to do this? Well, I got a zag. Okay. All right, man. Don't overthink it. That's all. That's all. That's my only concern here is him. I would say outside of the scripted plays, too, it's really hard to figure out when that 49ers offense is going to be in rhythm. You know, they they did a great job scoring the first time they got the ball last week, started out the game, and they've done that. And they did it in the Colts game as well. But then they have Titans game was another one I can think of where they get those scripted plays out. And then after that, it's like, uh, what do we do from here? So that I would also throw in Devonte Adams and Aaron Rodgers. I, it shows up time and time again. You can cover Adams perfectly. You can cover these other receivers perfectly, but Aaron Rodgers is just a different quarterback. He's going to place the ball in perfect spots that cannot be picked and they will get big chunks from it. So that's got to be a concern as well.